Hi guys, thanks for joining us again. <laughs> Pixie B is back with me for another Mum's Makery Craft afternoon. And um, as some of you may be aware, this morning we did um, a broadcast which was over on the ICHF channel, which was for our lovely cherry blossom make. Um, so you can still get tickets for that show. Uh, it's seven ninety nine for the tickets and uh, you can join the felting den. And it's not just um, my tutorial for the cherry blossom. There are a whole raft of other Joan Prouse is there. The makers are there. There's lots and lots of content. So, you know, just he head over. I think the, who else is, I think the woolly felters are there. Yeah. There's a lot of felting going on <laughs> over um, on the ICHF channel. And obviously you can watch that all back as well on playback. So, but we've, we've changed location. We have. We have. <laughs> and You asked for it, we got it. Yes. <laughs> You're so happy, aren't you? I am. I, She's I, elated. Really, really She's am. absolutely elated. She now you can all it. hear what I say. Yes. I now have to be very careful. Yeah, well, they could hear you before. But not very well. They could hear so. you. <laughs> <laughs> now no, you, you're just, you know. I know. Very professional. She loves it, really. I'm a grown up now, I have a mic. <laughs> you have to put your big gill pants on. <laughs> right, so <laughs> what we're doing today is this is our February crafternoon. Um, the crafternoons are once a month. Um, we do them on the third Saturday. Mm -hmm. My third God. Saturday. Uh, the third Saturday of every month, unless we're doing one of our events, um, in which case um, it will be the fourth Saturday of the month. But do head over to the website because um, there are, um, so I've got, my, my hair is tickling my ear. <laughs> it's like, better than me being in your ear. This is true. This is true. Well, you kind better. of are still, yeah. you're usually you're in this ear. I was going to say, I'm in the other ear today. For real. Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna do you wanna talk to them for a bit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anywho, yes, if you go over to our website, um, projects, infos and downloads link is a really, really good link that will give you lots of information there. And then there's the broadcasts and events link, and that's got a schedule of everything that we're doing um, this year. The mm -hmm. dates are all penciled in, um, but we've got We've got a couple of things on the horizon which will get added and it'll get updated. But for the Crafternoons, they are once a month. And this isn't something that's just like a, a hardcore tutorial where we're, you know, <laughs> fell, 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 fell. <laughs> this is supposed to be much more relaxed. It's just uh, casual felting. And you can even, you know, make whatever you're making and just come and hang out with us. Whatever you want to do is fine. Nice. But we are, we are going to be, what are we making? <laughs> Lavender, we're making the middle. Oh, we are. There we go. Making beautiful. We lavender. will be making these. Check out those cakes, people. <laughs> Look at that. These. <laughs> we're gonna have. We're gonna have to come back a minute because I'm gonna have to talk cake. <laughs> these cakes. Let me bring them back here so you can see them. These cakes are amazing. They're Haley's fault. Okay, Haley. It's just there's a um we got a business car kicking about it somewhere a bit. Yes, this Is company, that? um Cottage, Cottage Bakes. Bakes. Hang on. There, Cottage Bakes. And they're on Facebook and what have you. And every every week they do this sort of special and this box of and they deliver. They deliver. And Hayley was like, You've got to get them, you've got to get them. So I got them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's me and you sorted they, later, isn't it? They smell so good. <laughs> they, they really do. I'm going to put them back over there. But yes, if you if you want your cakes delivered, and they are sizable pieces as well, check out that lady's um, website. I don't know her name. No, I don't but, know her name, no, But we, yeah, can recommend them. <laughs> mm. So anyway, back to what we're here for, nice. which is the felting. We are going to be making uh, English lavenders. And the construction is... Is quite simple. Everything is 
um, freehand so you can use your own supplies. There was a there was a lovely lavender's kit which if we do a little kit for the afternoons, it's just so you know you've got mm. everything to hand um, as you need it but um, there will be a little kit for the March afternoon, which will launch later on today and I will tell you you have to write that down and remind me to launch it otherwise yes. I'll, I'll, I'll be in a cake okay. stupor <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make uh, one of those lovely lavender heads. For those of you who have um, got the kit, um, you'll find everything in there that you need. If you are watching this on playback or something, head over to the website, that uh, calendar under the broadcast and events link, and you'll find details. You'll ho there's a whole page. If you click the calendar event for this craft and it gives you a list of all the materials that we've been using. So I've got coffee and everything. So have I. Although mine's going a bit cold now. Right. Mm. So to start with, you're going to start with uh, sort of a, a stiffer wire. We've got a 20 gauge wire. Um, and it's really, really nice and sturdy. You can use... Um, an 18 gauge but I do feel that an 18 gauge is really quite um, well it depends what you're doing with it really doesn't it you can um, if you want one that's really rigid this one's got got a bit of give in it so what you do is we're going to make I got one that I made earlier thanks <laughs> oh, I only made me one I made I you one it. I guess. You're going to want about a gram of wool. Now, we're using um, core wool, um, Mum's Makery core wool. And I've got my little pocket scale down here. That's close enough. And what you're going to do is just sort of stack your fluff. So it's you've got a nice stack it's about the same staple length of your actual fibers so there's my staple length and then with your wire you're going to turn back probably I don't know maybe about top third of the wire I haven't got a ruler I've usually got a ruler a rule you've got one haven't you well it's not massive <laughs> and it might not be that long <laughs> But if these are 12 inches, we need to turn back four. We did. <laughs> Fair enough. That's, yes, yeah, they are, aren't they? So, yeah, I've turned back three. So, three, three inches, turn back. I've got about there, um, oop, which was more luck than judgment, but there we go. And then the judgment. way that we're going to... Okay, smarty pants. <laughs> she gets a microphone, and it's like... <laughs> She'll be in her trailer later. <laughs> right, hang on. I'm, I'm wandering all over my camera here. There we go. So what I've done is I've taken that loop and I've just hooked it over. Let me try this again. See, I'm just... Yes, okay, you've done it. It's gone with me, don't you? Here's when you make... <laughs> So what we're going to do is you're just going to scooch it up into the top, fold it over, and then just wrap it round. And all that's going to do is that is going to just capture those fibres. And then what we're going to do next is you're just going to sort of roll the wire, tuck it all in. Tuck and roll. The tighter you roll this, the less you've got a stab. So, and, oh, there's my needles <laughs> right in front of me. So I'm going to roll it a bit, stab it a bit, and just get those first sort of few fibres held in place. And you really are using a driving action for this. I know I say, you know, don't drive through into your mat, but we're attaching, so... We do want to do that. 
And I'm using my 38 spiral, which might not even be man enough for the job. So roll it nice and tight. I'm actually going to go up to my 36 star. Give it some welly. <laughs> and what we're aiming for is just a nice sort of round blobby shape on the top. It looks a bit like the flower former. Our, fla <laughs> Our patented flower formers, <laughs> aka packing peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's all technical and good around here. Right, you can take it, roll it in your hands, whatever you want to do. And you just want to get a nice, sort of a nice firm shape on the end. I'm going to roll it in my hand some more. And basically, this is what we're going for. Like that. Ta-da! By the magic of telly. <laughs> I'm just going to play catch up. You're going to play catch up. Yeah, that's fine. I've, I've got plenty to waffle on about anyway. So once you've made this really nice and firm, and you, you can size it however you want. You know, you can put a bit more on. You can put a bit less on. Um, it's entirely up to you. The colours. Oh, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> So the colours that we're going to be using, uh, and again, it's all on the Facebook page, are light purple, lilac, and royal purple. And those are the colours that we're going to be using today. Excuse her while she's typing over there. And there's no cool wool in the kit. That's because they are using. Oh no! So yeah, we're using. Purple? Yeah, we. <laughs> I think. Yeah, there isn't core wool in your kit because you've got enough of um, the. I think it's the light purple. Light purple, I believe. So you yes. can do yours all in light purple. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think I started doing it in core and then changed my mind, and then it was easier for you guys just to do it in. Um, yeah, it's definitely light purple. Yeah, it light is. purple. Yeah. So you've got enough to do yours in the light purple. Probably should have led with that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been one of those days, it has. So what I'm going to do is because I didn't do it with light purple, I'm just going to cover mine very, very quickly with um, just a little bit of the light purple. And all this means is that what we're going to do is uh, when we add our sort of little nubs and things that um, if, if there is a little bit of a gap, we're not going to see it. So I'm going to break out the, the big guns, well, my, my pen tool, just for speed, I think. Mine will be a little rough and ready, but it <laughs> usually is. <laughs> We actually should have started these with light purple. Well, I forgot about that. Yeah, it would have made more sense. But though. you're you're supposed to keep me on track. <laughs> I know you're good, not a miracle worker. <laughs> so I'm just putting a light covering. You would have used um, light purple. Oh, it's. Um, worth pointing out that the, uh, the, the a good reference video slash tutorial for this project is um, the lovely lavenders, which is over on our YouTube channel. And if you're not um, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do go over and uh, subscribe. It's a great channel, lots of free content over there. And if you have a look on the website again under that um, projects, infos and downloads link, then there is something called 
tutorial list and under that you will find a link to all of our public tutorials. So it's a quick sort of easy reference for you. But the lovely lavender tutorial um, is one to go and have a look at. That is one of our kits that we do. And it's really nice because you've got lavender, actual lavender in there as well. It smells amazing. It is, yeah. I like hanging out by that box mm. of kits. <laughs> I would as well. <laughs> so all I'm doing is I've applied some light purple to my little... Um, so if you are using core and then you're using your own colours, um, if you've got the kit, then just go with light purple from, from the start, wear yourself out a gram and make that core. And I'm just felting it down. So I've got myself sort of a good nub of a shape. And uh, have you still got that rule? It's right next to you. Oh, it's right next to you. Yeah. Of course it is. <laughs> um, and just for reference, it's probably a couple of inches. B, how long is your... <laughs> Which is about five centimetres. Well, how, how long's your... How long is this shape they were asking? Oh, yep. <gasps> I preempted. You did. You did a fab <laughs> job. Just anticipating your whims. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so... I think mine's more like an inch and a half. Is it? Well, they're, you know, oh, they're no, not... it is five centimetres. Fair there enough. you go. That's pretty good going. Good job, B. Thank you. <laughs> Don't stick her. <laughs> <laughs> we award each other stickers for things. <laughs> right. Uh, the wire sizes are... Uh, so you have to excuse me if I keep looking over there because, because she's not sat behind a computer somewhere telling me I'm reading chat as well, which I try not to do. <laughs> So two inches or five centimetres for those that want to know. Yes. The wire sizes are 20 gauge. Uh, there are some 26 gauge in your kit as well, and that's for some leaves, if, and there's some green in there as well. I hope there's some green in there. Is there some green in there? I don't know. I think I there was. Yeah. yeah, I think there was. We, we were, we <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure no, there's some I spring am. green in the kit as well. <laughs> okay, so... I will let you um, catch up with your um, firming up your bit and uh, Pixie Haley will um, post in our Facebook group a show and share. So when you've made your lavenders, uh, find our show and share post for the English lavenders and that will probably go up in group about 10 minutes after we're done with the broadcast, mainly because she needs me to make a graphic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, finish go. firming up your, um, I don't know what this bit is. It just looks like a purple sausage. <laughs> Flower <laughs> anatomy. Pixie Nikki is our resident gardener and um, takes great delight in telling me what all of the parts of the flowers are that I'm innately bad at remembering. <laughs> the middly bit of the lavender. So... It's I will cool. just give you guys a minute and we'll, we'll talk about, um, what should we talk about? Next afternoon is in March. I'm going to, I like this one. I really like this one. I really, really like this one. I really, really like this one. So, um. will happily be on camera for this one. You will. Well, you will be because you'll I be will. here with me. So it's the 27th of March, again, 3 p.m. UK time. And... That's going to be our March Craftanoon. Now, for those of you who um, have been following us for a while, I if I reach it, I'm going to fall out my chair. The spring lamb. The spring lamb. Back at our very first spring fair, this lovely little chappy was the sponsored make. Let's move the cakes out of the way. Here, you have the cakes. I don't believe I just said that here. Thank you have you. to. <laughs> you heard it here first. So, 
this lovely little guy was made as our sponsored make for um, the Spring Fair back in 2020 by the insanely talented uh, Naomi Coffin. And Naomi, um, actually, I'll come back to that in a minute. Do you want to put, yeah, yeah. put that back over there? Because I can't. <laughs> there's so much stuff so um that is the inspiration for our little make and our little make is we're doing a mini spring lamb the cutest. let me put it on closer <laughs> now there will be a kit for this um as soon as we are um as soon as i've had a coffee another oh hot coffee now you'll have to excuse the fact you'll have to excuse the fact that they've got illuminous legs they are camera shy <laughs> because we didn't have any black pipe cleaners <laughs> <laughs> so they look 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 hang on where are we they look they like look they've got illuminous wellies on they do <laughs> They just look awesome. But um, there will be a kit, <laughs> and the kit will have black pipe cleaners in it. I personally prefer the welly boot. Well, book. yeah, but you could. Yeah. Yeah, I you just think that's amazing. Um, I think it's lovely. So this is our March craft afternoon, which is our spring <laughs> lamb. And let me put him on the close-up camera a minute. There we go. Look at him. And we're going to be showing you all of the techniques um, how to get this on the body, this lovely technique here. You'll have black pipe cleaners. We're going to make a spring and the kit comes with absolutely everything that you need, including the log, the eyeballs, you know, everything. So if you want the kit, it will only be available. Craftanoon kits will only be available up until that Craftanoon. So the lovely lavenders, uh, lovely lavenders, not the lovely lavenders, the English lavenders <laughs> kit for this crafting will be available, uh, I think until the end of today. Um, and then the spring lamb, which is the March crafting kit will, will be available um, pretty much at 10, 15 minutes yes. after the show. Right, so I hope that you have your um, purpley sausage ready. Yep. I think that's what she My that measures what about one um three quarters of an inch or what twenty mil across that half inch yeah yeah you're just thinner than mine right my lavender was going to be a little you got a chunky funny. lavender <laughs> yes <laughs> okay so um she's got she's got the list of how we make it so <laughs> i don't forget <laughs> it's a mix we're going to do a little bit of mixing yeah so we, we mix all three don't we uh yes we do are yes. there weights or is it just i think it's just a bit um, random yes yeah, i think you it's don't want point not five of a gram yeah yes not very much my advice is use mainly light purple um with a bit of lilac but go really light on the royal purple um you will find that um, it really does not need a lot mm. of the dark purple and you can make this in bigger quantities but we're going to hand blend and to hand blend you stack your fibers you can see we've got the lilac the purple and the royal purple and you pull half and half and stack on top and then you pull and you stack on top. And then, then I like to turn it through 90 degrees and pull the other way as well. And basically what you're doing is you're just messing up the fibers until you've got a good mix. And you can, um, you can mix this any way you want. If you want to go heavier on the royal purple, you've got more than enough fluff um, to make a nice, um, uh, sort of to make a nice sort of mix. So what, what we're then going to do is make these little nubs and uh, I think they're 0 0.1 grams. Is it 0 0.1? I think. Um, I think it's 0 0.05. Is it? Yeah. 
quite roots. tiny. Okay. So to make a nub, and again, for this, you can refer back to the lovely lavender tutorial because this is where um, we, you know, we did making the nubs. This is what this project is sort of based on. So I've got 0 0.1 of a gram. And then what you do is if you want to do less, if you want to do 0 0.05, you just weigh out 0 0.1, which is what the scales will, um, will handle. And then you just eyeball it in half. And that's how you get a 0 0.05. Whether. I'm just going to double check that theory. <laughs> I've seen a very little. I've got a whole envelope of little nubby bits. Oh, that was not point. They're going to vary, mm. but that they're they're around not point eight. You can do if your lavender's a bit chunkier. You could do a not point one. You know, again, it's it's very much just playing with. Um, you know with what you do and to make these nubs you're just going to take your wool and you are going to we're going to leave a frizzy bit but what we're going to do is just start off by folding it in half and then I just roll it in my fingers and you can see that instantly you've you've started getting that shape a light needle so I'm going to use my 40 spiral First barb, we're not driving now, we're just firming up. All over, and you can roll it in your fingers some more. And if you think, oh, no, I, I, I want a, a bigger nub, you can add in a little bit as well. Roll it. The thing is, you want to keep your nubs probably, ooh, what are we thinking about? two centimeters about 15 this yeah. this part of the nub not including your frizzy mm. bit because your frizzy bit is what you're going to do yeah about um, one and a half yeah centimeters so about 15 mil one and a half centimeters um for your little nub and you're just going to roll it firm it up and if your end's getting away from you just bring it back We don't want them too long. And that's it. That's how you make your little lavender nub. And I said this sort of frizzy bit here is what we're going to use um, to attach it to our core. Now, you can start top, middle or bottom. It's entirely up to you. I prefer to start at the top and I'm going to get my little, my little bag of nubs. Shall I share? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to share my nubs? Thank you. <laughs> All the things you'd ever thought you'd hear yourself say. I, I, Do you want to share my nubs? <laughs> yep. No. That was I not don't know it. what they're called either. So, actually, I think these are more like 10, 10 mil. Yeah. These are slightly smaller. So I would obviously put any larger ones. Um, sort of more to the bottom. Um, well, apparently lavender parts are called a whirl. Are they? Yep. <gasps> Every day's a school day. I bet that Thank was you. that Nikki. It, it, it was. was it was Pixie. Nikki. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> I phoned her up after. I got really stuck in my last broadcast about what the thing was called that was wrapped round um, <laughs> the the bud of the <laughs> cherry blossom. I couldn't for the life of me remember what it was called. Yeah, we we refer to it as a. The husky bit, I think. The husky shelly bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Pixie Mickey was like, oh, it was it was called, uh, oh, it was something beginning with them. And so I phoned her up after the show. I was like, you smart Alec. <laughs> no, it's interesting. It is interesting. It's good you to get, know. I get to learn all sorts of stuff. I better do this on camera. Hang on. Right, so what I'm going to do is start by adding a nub at the top and... Hmm. If I get these in, you can see that, you know, we just start start with one at a top and then work around. Let me see if I can get there. That might be a bit better. Start with one in the middle and then we're going to go round it and then we go down a level and down a level. And then we're also, also going to offset them. It's all in the gap, in the gap as you do the next layer. 
So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use my light needle, so I'm just going to put one right at the top. And so to do that, that's my furry bit at the bottom. I'm going to spread it out all different ways. Put it right slap bang on the top, like that. And then a couple of tacking stabs either side. I think my needle's a bit wonky. There we go. And then felt that down. I find it easy to work from the top to the bottom, but you, know, you can work either way. So once you've got the first one on, like so, grab the next one and it's the same process. Just spread out that bit of fluff and you're going to lay it so that your next one is sort of there. A couple of tacking stabs. So they need to be very close together? They do, yeah. Mm. Put them nice and close together. And then the next one, again, just going to tease out that end a little bit. And start like so and so there's my middle one and I'm just going to start working all the way around it and it's just a little bit of time you want them to sort of stick out a little bit but what I'm doing is I've got a you know horizontal needle and I'm going in and down just to help attach those fibers. And then felting it down into place. The wool will go the way you point the needle. So get in the middle there and just point that needle. And you can see that these are these are forming up nicely around the top. So I'll probably put about around that center one. You know, focus, there we go. Around that center one, I would probably put maybe five other nubs. So this is number four. Just get that little tufty bit down. And then number five, I'll get this one on and then I can give you a, a better view. So there. And that is in essence what we're going to do um, all the way down. But have a look at it. I think five is, um, is quite good around the top there. And then when you come to do the next layer, so I have to keep refocusing the camera, but just tease that out. So when you put down the next layer, you're going to go in between and about halfway up. So if you can see, there's my, maybe the overhead will work better for this. No, maybe not. We'll go back to the close up camera. Oh. So there are my two nubs and I'm going to put that one so that the top of the next layer is about halfway up the previous layer. I think that made sense. So like so, spread it out. And then felt it down. Okay, so basically we're just going to keep keep going round. I think my my middle one. Um, I think I should have put those down a little bit more from my middle one, but there. 
Okay, so we're going to start like that and it, it now literally is just felting in the gaps, making sure you've got a nice placement. Yeah, kind of go halfway down. And you can see that they will naturally start to just furl out um, when you when you're felting them. How are you getting on there, B? Not too bad. Cool. Better than I thought I would. <laughs> Brilliant. As long as you keep your fingers out of your way, out yeah. of the way, and you the most important bad. thing in felting, aim. <laughs> So I'm just working around now and you know, sort of moving down and you can see that it's starting to take shape. I'll get the other one back in for reference in a minute and let you guys have a look at it. Um, another, nice, um, another nice thing that you can do with, these, um, with this particular technique are these exactly the same technique <laughs> where'd you get that one i've got a couple you... here's one i made earlier. <laughs> it's, one I made earlier. <laughs> it's one you nabbed off me earlier it is, yeah. yeah okay yeah afraid so okay <laughs> so these are uh, sort of more like clover flowers and exactly the same technique uh, we did about a gram in the middle um, but it was slightly more ball shape rather than um, elongated like the lavender. And again, as you can see, exactly the same um, a technique, just layering up those nubs. And this one has a, not a it's not the um, rose calyx, it's the pansy calyx. Um, so the pansy tem calyx template um, is what's on the back there and it just makes these lovely um, clovers which are done I believe uh, what was this hot pink pink and candy floss mm. so same principles um, same technique um, you know just a completely different completely different take on on you know the, the same technique so there's lots of things that you can do um, with those so whilst you're um, whilst you're nicking on me nubs <laughs> I will what uh, what else did we have to tell people oh the the pups the pickup projects are in the Facebook group um, Sarah Summerton Irene Martinez and Annette Roberts Boyle are your fluff chat and your makery crew and they run a pickup project every month and it runs middle of the month to middle of the month and last month which ran from January to the middle of February was um, the bugs. It love bugs yes. and there's a selection of some of the entries um, from the love bug pup um, which was last uh, sort of ended. Now they've got a new, a new one that new started. One. Yes, which is luck. Luck. Mm -hmm. The theme is luck, uh, which coincides quite nicely with the launch of the four leaf clover template that, it that you can now find on the website. And mm. a <laughs> little plug there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So the theme is luck, and at the end of uh, it runs sort of second weekend of the month to second weekend of the next month so it, this one will run until the second weekend in March mm -hmm. and then they do a little prize draw for everybody who's entered and the whole idea with um, the pickup projects is you can also join fluff chat there is a uh, there's an official post in our Facebook group and you just put a note put a comment on it and say please add me to fluff chat and one of the crew will do that for you 
and it's just a nice little mojo booster do a little variation on a theme project and um, and then everybody sort of supports each other and gives you know they do work in progress pictures and it's just really really nice so that all kind of happens in fluff chat and you'll also find um, you find that happening in group as well um, we also have a winner we do mm -hmm. you're like take it away B I the no winner idea. is Joe Bell. Joe Bell, yay! yay! Well done. Way to go, Joe. Yeah. So <laughs> at the end of each pup, um, all of the entries that have posted on the um, group post um, get a number, and it's just a random number generator draw. So congratulations, Joe Bell. Uh, you were the winner of the sort of January February pup, mm -hmm. love bug pup. Yep. I keep I want popping to know if someone's pop going to make a luck dragon. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I don't know. Can we can we say can we can we talk about so, that know. luck dragon? What everybody knows. Mm. <laughs> can you make me a luck dragon? I want a luck dragon. I don't have time. You don't have time. No. You should have a word with that there, bossy. <laughs> Keeps me very busy. <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> oh, I know. We got lots of stuff in the pipeline, <laughs> haven't we? We have. We have. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. I know because she's brought it over with her this morning and she went, <laughs> Look at this. And I was like, oh. Yes. And we're not going to tell you. Okay. It's got to be a secret. <laughs> it's fluffy stuff. I won't go say anymore. I'll be, I'll be Ave. I'll be <laughs> Ave. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, this month's. Lo um, this month's project in pup pup project. Anyway, go back 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 to, back to the pup. Back to the pup <laughs> is a luck theme. Um, so it's it's anything. It's whatever comes to mind. You can you could do a lucky rabbit's foot. You could do a four leaf clover. I heard somebody said there was a, a lucky goldfish. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know. Anything as long could be as lucky, really. You don't have to use it. So lose its foot. Yeah. <laughs> goldfish don't have feet. Well, that's just as well. <laughs> lose it then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's sidetracking me, people. <laughs> right, so what else have we got? How um, many nubs to be put on here? I don't know, because you've nicked them. I haven't. There's a whole Yeah, but I'm I'm just a lot of them. Okay. You Wait, keep shall I count for someone? Yes. Those are obviously, it's going to vary, so, but we can, she's going to count while I waffle. Um, <laughs> our next um, big event, we do have our first big event of 2021 coming up, which is the Spring Fair event, which is on the 6th of March. It's, um, <laughs> it's 11 till 3, uh, sorry, no, it's 11 till 3, it's at 11. And there's there's a second broadcast at three, and it's two completely different makes. The first broadcast is a freehand make, which you can join in with your own supplies. There is an event kit, um, which is available over on the website, and it's it's a whopper of a kit, isn't it? It is. It is absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's a great kit. I absolutely love it's it. Fantastic. And. At the moment, the kit is 20, it's 19.99, so it's 20 quid. And there's a lot of stuff in there. Because the last time we did an event box, they if I don't know if you guys remember, they were the thin letter boxes. Mm. And I did say that I'd have to put the price up when we came mm. around. And then I could use actually you know, proper size bags and stuff. And then I had to go Fantastic. that registered, which put the price up even more. <laughs> and I, I just felt... Like, no, I don't want to, so I didn't. So this kit bag is um, $19.99. But what we're planning on doing is for um, the Christmas in June event is there will probably, we're going to pilot it and see what happens. We're going to do two event bags. So we're going to do one that I think is $18.99 and then one that is $24.99. But the spring fair kit that you can buy on the website at the moment that's a representation of what the twenty four ninety nine kit bag is going to contain, and there's a lot of stuff. It's a big bag. It is. It's like yeah, that it bag. Is really good. It's like chocker. Mm. 
<laughs> I love the stuff that's in it. I'm really looking forward to the um, to the, the, the just the whole day. Yeah. So the morning you Going can join in with your own uh, craft supplies. You don't have to have the kit bag. There are plenty of giveaways. There'll be giveaways in the whole week on the run up to um, the actual event itself, where the Pixies do giveaways, um, and we do a draw live on air. Um, so stay tuned in the Facebook group, and that will all of the Pixie giveaways will be going up in there. Um, the second. Yeah, the second show of the day, so the one that's at 3 p.m. UK time, that's going to have um, a templated make. So if you want to join in with that make, you do need the kit. And I am absolutely ecstatic because this particular template was not designed by me. Ooh. This particular template was designed by Naomi, the lady what did the spring lamb. How amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a very special template and um, it's only available in the kit. I've got a, I've got a stray Fantastic. hair. So I stuffed, after the broadcast this morning, I kind of stuffed everything else up into my, and now my <laughs> hair's just gone really frizzy. <laughs> right. So um, I'm not going to get that finished. <laughs> nope. I don't think I'm going to either. So a couple of other quick mentions. Um We've got the original Needle Felting UK Festival, and I realise that I've got the wrong graphic. So, Sarah, if you are listening, I'm so sorry, I've got the wrong graphic. <laughs> um, that's on the... Um, uh, where is it? It's... April? Uh, yeah, April. The beginning of April. Oh, my mm. God, the date's just gone out of my mind Sarah will probably post it if she's in um, yes yeah, Sarah is there um, <laughs> Sarah Brown who runs the original Needle Felting UK group and if you're not a member do go over and uh, join the group but do join the original Needle Felting UK um, group uh, that's the name that you're looking for and um, though she is holding a festival and I believe oh it's Easter weekend yes that's when it is. It's Easter Fantastic. weekend. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I just caught the chat out the corner <laughs> of my eye. The thing is, is what you're seeing us do here is about 20 seconds behind what we're actually doing. So. <laughs> it's like a weird time warpy thing going on. Um, yeah, so it's going to be an absolutely amazing um, Easter weekend. And Mum's Makery will be kicking things off on Saturday at 10 o'clock. And we will be making... Drum roll fluffs we're Excuse making me. fluffs which stands for <laughs> Sarah Summerton is now chuckling to herself I know this it stands for funny little unidentified fluffy fellows fluffs that's awesome it is and it's <laughs> <laughs> I did wonder what you were going there to come out with I have to be honest <laughs> She only hangs out with me because she never knows what I'm going to come out with. No. I only hang out with me because I never know what I'm going to say. <laughs> so um, they're going to be really, really fun um, little um, makes, which are going to show you how to do a lot of different techniques. We're going to be doing some long fur. We're going to be doing some... Um, sort of uh, blended and toning and getting grades and shades. There's there's lots of things, lots of techniques. So that's going to be at the original Needle Felting UK Festival. Um, and I'm sure that there'll be links, links and stuff um, for that. So how are you doing with your, one of us has to finish. Oh my gosh. You, okay. you, you carry on felting. Okay. <laughs> Felt. Felt faster. faster. <laughs> Um, what else have we got? Um, as I think I mentioned earlier, the um, this morning we were on the Creative Craft Show Access All Areas. Now that is a ticketed event. It was for the Cherry Blossom. I know a, a few people got confused over which flower was appearing in what show. So this is the English Lavender, which mine looks like that Muppet, which is with the spiky hair. <laughs> I feel that the Muppets are featuring a lot in our craft afternoons. 
they do. The last crafting we looked like those two old I guys. Was. That was quite funny. Um, on the plus side, we had the most beautiful roaring fire. It was nice. <gasps> it was amazing. It was very nice. And, and I actually got some cake that day. <laughs> Just saying. Two pieces. Two pieces of cake. Two pieces. <laughs> so, um, yes, what else was it? I've got like a little... We have about 30 whirls on on these. Okay, so there's around 30 of these little whirl, whirl, <laughs> whirls. <laughs> Nubby things. <laughs> It has been a very long day. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm not even going to... Should we tell them about our um, new video system? It's moved, hasn't it? Yes. Our new video tutorials. <laughs> I love these lovely cryptic clues that she throws at me. <laughs> I thought that was perfectly clear. No, our private tutorials... <laughs> Our private tutorials, so those that aren't on YouTube publicly available, they are moving to a new hosted system and it's it's so much, um, the system is so much better than our current one because it allows you to download them for, for starters so you can actually, you know, download and watch them offline. But also it means that we can actually give you the, uh, you, the tutorial information um, without... Um, without doing that automatic linking thing, which I know was, was driving a lot of people up the wall, <laughs> mostly me. <laughs> well, it was sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. Um, it's gonna pop you back onto the close-up camera so you can see how this is shaping up, which is not, <laughs> it's not terribly well. <laughs> but you can see that this is starting to take shape. You've made serious inroads into those nubby I'm, bits. I'm you? trying. Yeah. I feel like if I take many more, I'm going to I think um, impede your progress. It's <laughs> absolutely fine. So basically what we're going to do is you carry on working down layer by layer. And if you find that these are sticking out too much, then just bring your needle, just a couple of tacking stabs, and you can see it just brings it back nicely into line. Work your way down the whole of your sort of lavender body and as I said when you do the next layer down you go halfway in between the two above and then you want the top of your next nub to be about there so just chat amongst yourselves chat. <laughs> I can't like that I don't know what it rem it reminds me of something, and it I can't is, think what it reminds me of. It is definitely the Muppet. That's his head. You need to no, give no, it there's eyes. a flower. There is a flower that this is starting to look like, and I can't think. Oh, how lovely! Yeah, but it's got like I don't know. I can't remember. So it's irrelevant, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So I think we are. We're sort of heading towards time. We've got a few a few minutes left. If you do have the lavender um, kit bag, then you will also find that there is some green in there and there are some 26 gauge wires. And you will also find that there is um, some spring green florist tape that's what it was and florist. there is also a little bit of lavender ribbon right do you think you can do anything with that and yeah i could do something <laughs> with that thank you <laughs> it's one i prepared earlier <laughs> oh hang on i've got to get the tape out of here so when uh, for those of you who haven't used florist tape um it's not sticky but when activated it will stick to itself and you activate it by pulling and stretching the tape and it changes the surface of the tape from paper to sort of shiny and that's when it will stick to itself and hold your tape I like to hold a bit to the flower and then wrap it round and lock it on itself and then just wrap it and roll it down the stem like so 
and obviously depending on what you're going to do with your um, with your actual lavender I'll just come back up and nip this bit off um, you cut this however short or long um, that you want it do you pass me one of those little lavender pillows there please of course please. let's put this one in beautiful thank you and here's a little lavender pillow that was made and you know you can pop it on there put a couple of stitches maybe have a little bit of the ribbon on, in a bow I'm not going to tie the ribbon in a bow because ribbon and little mm. bows and me are not friends <laughs> <laughs> but you can see you know it adds a gorgeous little accent to um, to a, a sort of a, a lavender pillow or you can put it on a little bag um, these are you should have enough materials in your kit to make this set of three and obviously you can put the little bow on that as I said before let me get this over let's pop you on that camera as you can see on this one there are some green um, I feel that we may be affecting the light of this camera because everything's <laughs> taken on a blue hue. Um, <laughs> this, um, this one has got some sort of little leaves in it. Now, in order to make the leaves, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. Um, you can, those don't have wires in, but there are 26 gauge wires in that little kit if you wanted. One of the ways easiest simplest way in the world to make leaves just roll yourself up a bit of fluff in your hands and you see you've got just a little bit of a light sausage I will weigh this bit for you just so you know uh, this is not going to weigh Hang on. technical problems the scales won't work <laughs> this is about um, not point that's an hour now it's about 0 point, uh, 1.5 no 0 0.15 <laughs> oh God. we use very tiny amounts we do it doesn't take a lot now you can just roll yourself out a piece like that and then come in with uh, a pen or multi-punch or anything like that and just make yourself out of shape and the nice thing about leaves and things is that they don't have to be very uniformed. You know, um, the other, uh, if you wanted to use a template, the snowdrop template, um, the leaves for the snowdrop template would be um, absolutely great for this project as well if you, want to, if you have that one. And I'm just flattening this out. I'm not driving into my mat so much. I'm going to leave this end frizzy because then I can attach it, I can attach it to my project. And then I'm gonna fold back that end. And just sort of bring this bit to a taper, to a point. So I'm just gonna roll that in my hand a little bit more. Bring it to a point. And you can see you've got a nice sort of, <laughs> nice, it's really quick and crude, but you can see you've got a leaf shape starting there. And just refine a little bit, take your time, not rushing it, like what I am doing. <laughs> but there, you can see that you've got a bit of a leaf shape. I would probably point that a little bit more. Um, but you can see that it's, very very quick just to make a nod towards some sort of grass shape like so if you wanted to wire it you could um, but if you're just doing little bits like that like what's in here then you really don't need a wire but you do have some 26 um, gauge wire in there if you do want to wire it up and what I would suggest is just put a little loop in the wire and use the felt to actually hold the wire in place unless you are a braver person than I and you you, you and super glue are friends in which case you can put a couple of dots of glue don't, so don't go there. <laughs> we've got one final thing I think 
um, that we need to do in this hour. And it's it's something that we we brought at the last craft noon, um, which was in January, and that was our birthday month. So what we asked you was to pop into the group and give a suggestion of um, which projects you would like to see Mum's Makery make. And <laughs> the th there were a lot of suggestions. There were some crazy ones. <laughs> now, all I will say is that some of the suggestions may already be planned. So we've, we've picked some that were or were not maybe or maybe not on the cards <laughs> but um <laughs> don't fret if um if you feel a little disheartened that, that we haven't picked the one that you have because there are some things that are coming um in the not too distant so the three pro what would basically will happen is i said that i at this craft afternoon i would pick three projects and those projects will then be posted in the mum's makery um, Facebook group for you guys to vote on and whichever one gets the most votes is the project that we will make at some point in 2021. Drum roll. So those projects are Orchid, wait for Hayley to squeal, <laughs> Foxglove, oh, how amazing and I always get these two mixed up I'm gonna say Fuchsia Fuchsia's the one with the little dangly legs. Yes, and the little, the, yes. yes, fuchsia. I, I always get fuchsia and freesia oh. confused. Freesia smell stunning. They do, but ours wouldn't. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the three. There will be a poll going up in the group um, very, very shortly. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to run that poll from now until the spring festival Spring Fair, <laughs> starting to call them different things now. <laughs> the Spring Fair, we will announce which one has won, which actually would be pretty obvious because the poll is in group. <laughs> but we will um, we'll let you know which one we are going to make. And as said before, the first person who suggested the winning um, flower or project um, will get that project for free. And everybody else who has mentioned the winning project will go into a random number draw and they have the option of winning some stuff too. That sounds amazing. And everyone has been very lucky because the hydrangea didn't get a price increase at the end of January. Did it not? No. <laughs> so that will be coming the end of this month. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I re I'm so bad at pricing. I really am. <laughs> The, the Douglas Fern was on its introduction price for about a year. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> it's not my fault. I got sacked from my own estimating department. And have we shared Rebecca's? Oh, no, that was hilarious. Li a little, just a little share um, for you. It's just a lovely little story. It? No, you can do it because you've got the, you've got the stuff over <laughs> I think I remember actually Rebecca Cher, um, who's one of the lovely ladies in our Facebook group. Um, her daughter, who is only three, three, yeah. Um, what you 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 said you got? She was watching um, one of the programs and wanted to know the difference between fairies and pixies. And she replied straight away, "Pixies bring mum stab stab stuff." Which is awesome. <laughs> the pixies bring mum stab stab stuff. I love the world. That is absolutely <laughs> priceless. I, I and uh, it's just made me chuckle. I really wanted to share it that is, little story with you guys because lovely. it was it really made us chuckle, <laughs> didn't it? So um, yes, do look out for the spring lamb um, little uh, event uh, tra craft noon kit. It will be under the craft noon kits. And that will be going live um, shortly. After the Hayley, show. After the show, yes. Yep. <laughs> Hayley will be um, putting up a show and share for all of you to share your lavenders. I know that we didn't really have time to make a whole... Well, you made a whole one, pretty much. Almost, yeah. Almost. Yeah, it's just here. Mine's... You know, there's a Mine, mine just it looks scared. A couple of little bits. <laughs> My, mine's a lavender that, that is the end result of a very windy day. <laughs> 
That's it's what mine is. All its things, <laughs> all its worlds. So, thank you um, so much for spending um, this last hour with us. I hope that that you have enjoyed um, just hanging out with us as much as we enjoy. It is hanging out fun. with you. It is good fun. It we is. do we do like it. I mean, we come to you across Facebook and YouTube at the same time, so um, it's sort of we're a bit spread out. But it is so lovely to be able to connect with you guys, um, you know, on different different platforms. So um, that slice of cake has got my name on it. I think it's Millionaire's Shortbread Cookie Pie or something. <laughs> It just looks. It stunning. is. It's yeah. That that bit's mine. <laughs> then can I have this one? In the you front, you can have that one. Thank you. Front. That's fine. Thank you. As long as you share it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, um, for spending all of your time with us today. We really do appreciate it. If you've got any questions, do hit us up on um, email or you can send us a message online. But for mm -hmm. now, from me, Pixie B, and all of the Makery Pixies and crew, we wish you all a very crafty day.